Hi guys, it's uh, Krista. I know it's been a really long time since I uploaded a video, but I've been getting a lot of requests for updates since my jaw surgery, so here we go. Um, so start from the beginning, you can watch the other videos if you want. Uh, July 9th, I had SARP surgery on my upper jaw. They went through my upper lip, broke the, basically the upper jaw off from the rest of my face, split it in half, and then um, I had a scar running from all the way around here. At the same time, they took out an impacted wisdom tooth in the back um, on my left side, and then they took out two baby teeth on the top and bottom on my right side because there was no adult tooth to push them out. This was the first major step into it. And I'm really glad that it's over. Um, but it wasn't as bad as uh, I know some people's experiences and some of the horror stories I had heard. Um, so July 9th, I go in for surgery. It was a day surgery. Um, everything went really smoothly. I remember being on the operating table, staring at the ceiling light. And then all of a sudden I woke up and I was in the recovery room. And I would asked them, did they do everything? Was everything okay? Because they were doing a bunch of procedures at once. Um, and everything went great. Um, that day I went home from the hospital. I was bleeding a lot from my nose. Um, my mom and I stopped at the grocery store on the way home. It was just gushing blood out of my nose anytime my head turned the slightest bit down. Just from, um, some of the tubing that went in through my nose when they operate on your mouth. But I got Tylenol 3s, ran out of that bottle and did have to ask for a second bottle, which I did use about half of. Um, the pain was pretty bad. You can see in my other video, eight days after surgery, I was pretty swollen, but not that bad. Um, I started cranking the next day. You would turn the appliance and it would widen your jaw significantly over time. I think I did about 25 turns. I started doing twice a day, morning and night, like one turn each time for the first week. And then after that, he had me go down to um, once a day which was fine. Uh, I did get a lot of pressure in my head. I could feel it because essentially you're widening your jaw and your cheekbones are lifting and everything's moving out. And I could feel the pressure in my head. I tried to do it before bed because I would just lay there and I would be like, okay, yeah. It would be a couple seconds of it being a little bit just weird and uncomfortable and I, you'd just be laying there and there's not much you can do. You're just kind of waiting it out. But after a couple, a minute or two, I kind of forgot about it, it'd be fine. Um, of course the appliance was not ideal. I had it in for just over three months. I got it in just under a week ago, or I got it out just under a week ago, sorry, which is amazing. Uh, it feels so good to have it out. Um, the appliance did pretty much fully expand, but the coolest thing about that is that I never got the gap. Uh, that is the dreaded SARP surgery gap that everybody talks about, that everybody just that's pretty much the biggest drawback to having a procedure like this is that as you're widening your upper jaw your front teeth separate and you have a gap some people the, th the size of my thumb in between their two front teeth um and I asked the orthodontist like how how is this possible I this is what I was dreading I didn't want to go six months with a gap starting to be closed by braces and I guess the way it worked for me is some people if you're narrow all the way through you're widening your jaw like this, whereas my jaw kind of opened more like a triangle. It was more the back side. It was back here that was so narrow. So it opened more like a triangle. I got, you can see it in the other video, like maybe a millimeter or two of a gap for a couple days and then it sealed right up and I was fine. Um, I definitely noticed changes in my face. You can't see it as well, but my cheekbones sit much higher than they used to and they're a lot more defined, which I'm happy with. I think it's great. Um, I, again, some people have the appliance in for about six months. I only had it in for just over three. I got braces on about a month and a half after that, after I had gotten um, the surgery done. So I've had braces already for about a month and a half. I have ceramic braces on top and I have metal on the bottom, which you don't really see them when I smile or talk anyways. Um, and yeah, I would say the biggest struggle of having that appliance in was eating and talking. Certain foods like if like I would eat maybe brown rice spaghetti or something like that, that would like get wrapped around and I'd choke on it. Really stringy vegetables like a cooked asparagus, that kind of thing would get, would be a big struggle because I would just choke on it or it would be so frustrating or 
If I did choke, I had half of my mouth is covered by an appliance. Almost claustrophobic in my own mouth. Uh, but I was, I was okay. I mean, I survived, I did it, and now we got a lot more progress to do, but this big step is over with and I couldn't be happy. As far as pain, I don't have any anymore. Um, you can see my upper jaw is like wider, it is complete, there's still a tooth missing in the back there, but I, they took the appliance out. It was very weird when they took it out though because it is like cemented to your back molars, so you hear a lot of cracking and you feel a lot of pressure and you're like, oh my god, what if the bone isn't fused yet and what if my, what's gonna happen is my face just gonna fall? I don't, I was freaking out a little bit at that point. But um, no, they took it out and I've been eating. I was a little bit sore from getting a new wire put on my braces that day. Um, it just kind of feels like your teeth are, almost like your gums are bruised. Next step for me right now is filling in those spaces in the back. There's still contemplation on doing a lower jaw surgery. But obviously we're trying our best to avoid that, which would be great. Um, I actually start physio today on my jaw muscles because they're still so tight in my cheeks and my jaw. And now the bone is in the place where we want it to be, but the muscles still ha haven't fully adjusted. So do be prepared. That could be something that your orthodontist would recommend, and I will let you know how that goes. I heard it's a little bit uncomfortable, even excruciating at times, but... The outcome of it is very much worth it. So uh, that's all I have for today. I'm three and a half months out of SARP surgery, no gap, no pain, no appliance, and I can promise you it was worth it. If you're going through it right now, I feel your pain. I completely get where you're at, but just keep going. It gets better, and I'm always here if you have questions.